usually on um, David Wood's uh, live streams or his uh, content channels. Uh, usually just him and Sam Shamoon. Usually, usually just him and Sam Shamoon. Um, they invite Muslims saying, uh, I've been paying I've been paying attention to David Wood's videos, and he's basically asking people like Adnan Rashid, uh, Shabir Ali, uh, Yasser, Ka et cetera, et cetera, like all these Muslim apologists and scholars to 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 join him on his live streams. And I was the only Muslim apologist who did it. Uh, you know, like a a few months ago, back in uh, July, I believe. Yeah, July. So he's basically asking Muslim apologists to come on with him and Sam Shamoon, and they're they're all rejecting him. <coughs> Shabir Ali has has refused to uh, go on. Um, uh, Adnan Rashid has refused to go on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <coughs> so then the question really arises: Why is that? Why is uh, why are these Muslim apologists and scholars like Shabir Ali and Adnan Rashid not uh, not going on his channel? And it's because of David Wood and Sam Shamoon's behavior and attitude towards Islam, which is driving Muslim apologists away, Muslim scholars and apologists away. Uh, Muslim, like, respected Muslim apologists like Shabir Ali, etc. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, we find the Quran actually warns us about people like David Wood and Sam Shamoon and, you know, other other people like them, like, you know, Christian Prince, et cetera, et cetera, apostate prophet, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So here's what the Quran says. It says, O ye who believe, take not for friends and protectors those who take your religion for mockery in sport or sport, whether among those who received the scripture before you, which would be the Jews and Christians, or amongst those who reject faith, which, which would be the atheists. Uh, but ye fear God. Uh, if ye have faith indeed, uh, the Quran chapter five, verse, uh, verse 57. Now, uh, regarding this Quranic verse, um, I think the Quran makes a really good point here. It's a, I mean, if you're a Christian, um, would you take as a friend, somebody who constantly ridicules Christianity? Like, let's say <clears throat> you're a Christian like David Wood. Would you take someone like Richard Carrier who constantly mocks and who constantly mocks and makes fun of Christianity as a friend. <clears throat> uh, what Jew would take as a close friend? What Jew would be close friends with somebody who who always mocks Judaism? Like, what would a Jew be friends with an atheist? Like, uh, I don't know. Uh, like any atheist who who always make fun of the Old Testament, who always makes fun of the Bible, who always makes fun of Judaism? Uh, the, answers are, uh, the answers are obvious. No. No one. Nobody would take these people, these atheist people who would constantly mock Judaism and Christianity as close friends. As such, it is not, and it's not at all surprising that the Quran directs Muslims to avoid so socializing and interacting with individuals who consistently take uh take your religion which would which in this case would be islam for mockery uh so so you know it, it's kind of the reason why muslims are muslim apologists like shabir like shabir ali etc are not dealing with people like david wood or not going on david wood's channel etc etc is because he constantly makes a mockery and he constantly abuses and he constantly ridicules islam the quran and the prophet Muhammad. So if you're constantly mocking Islam, if you're constantly ridiculing the Prophet Muhammad, if you're constantly uh, uh, abusing or if you're constantly saying bad things about the Prophet Muhammad in the Quran, in Islam, and if you're uh, constantly, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, as the Quran says, uh, taking Islam uh, for mockery, then why would... We Muslim apologists uh, and, and scholars socialize or interact with these individuals. Why would they? I was the only one who did it. I was the only one who went on David Wood's live stream when he asked any Muslim to come and talk about Muhammad. The reason why I did it is because I didn't. I wanted people to know that we Muslims we're strong in our faith, right? We're not running away. We're we actually have good reasons to believe Muhammad is a true prophet of God.
we have good reasons to believe the Quran is from God. And I said in my, if you go back and watch those live streams, I've said that Prophet Muhammad did miracles, he did prophecies, and he called people to worship one God. That's the best you can do when it comes to a prophet, right? So that means Muhammad is a real prophet. Like, what else, like, what more do you want out of a prophet? It doesn't, like, there's, it doesn't get any better than that. Like, what more do you want, honestly? Like, honestly, it, it doesn't get any better than that. So, uh, you know, so this is one of, this is like one of the reasons um, why, uh, why Muslim apologists aren't really having anything to do with David Wood and Sam Shamoon, et cetera, so, and, you know, other, and I, I'm not, I'm not going to single them out, other people like Apostate Prophet, Christian Prince, uh, Islam Critique, et cetera, et cetera, because these people constantly ridicule and mock Islam. So... Why do we Muslims have to engage or interact or socialize with these people who constantly attack our religion? It doesn't make any sense. And the Quran says not to do it. And the Quran makes sense when it says not to do it. Because honestly, uh, because if you honestly want to be friends with Muslims, and if you want Muslims to uh, consider your arguments or, or have some kind of interaction or dialogue with them, you got to change your attitude towards Islam. That's the only way... Things can uh, progress here. <clears throat> so, I mean, I hope David Wood watches this video. And people, I hope David Wood, Sam Shamoon, etc. watch this video. And, you know, hopefully they change their ways. You never know, right? There was a man named Umar bin Khattab. He hated Islam. He hated the Prophet Muhammad. And guess what? He read the Quran and he became a Muslim. No, no. Not only that, that Umar bin Khattab wanted to kill the Prophet Muhammad. Right? If you read the story in Ibn Hisham's, uh, Ibn Hisham, Volume 1 or Volume 2, the Pro uh, Umar bin Khattab wanted to kill the Prophet Muhammad. This man, wanted, this man hated Islam so much, he wanted to kill the Prophet. He wanted to kill the Prophet Muhammad, right? <laughs> David Wood and Sam Shamoon can never kill the Prophet, but this guy wanted to physically kill the Prophet, right? So, uh, so he was on his way to kill the Prophet. Then he, he, uh, he read the Quran, and, and, <laughs> and within a few minutes, he became a Muslim. So you never know. Right? You never know. Maybe one day these haters, maybe one day haters like David Wood and Sam Shimon will become Muslim. You never know. <laughs> you never know. It's all in God's hands. So that's my two cents on all this. Stay tuned. More videos are up ahead.